Hello and welcome to Art and the Word. This is your paint appreciation class, your art appreciation class, and I am your art guide, Nicole Georges Bennett, and I am just so happy that you decided to drop by today by Art and the Word, where we celebrate the talents that God has blessed us with and we work on developing them for His glory. So every week I try to take you through a painting or a project that is simple but yet lovely to look at as we celebrate the talents that the Lord has blessed us with and we work on you know getting better at them so that we can create things that bring glory to him so art and the word of course is about art and it's also about the Word of God so I always like to start our art appreciation classes with a word or a devotional something that helps to tie us into our theme as well as to help us reflect on the Lord and his goodness to us. And he is, of course, the source of all the talent and all the skills that we have. So what we are doing today, I'm going to put my glasses on. First of all, I've got my paint, uh, what would you call it? Per paint kerchief uh, for hard work. <laughs> and uh, what we're doing today is we are actually continuing our peacock painting, which we started last time. And hopefully uh, you were able to see that particular video. If not, you should be able to go back into the playlist and be able to find it. So this is our peacock and we began it last time and now we're going to take it to the next stage and start to put in more details and hopefully we'll begin to see some of that beauty emerge. So our theme today, our devotional today is talking about how wonderful it is to belong to the Lord and if you are a child of Christ then indeed you do feel that that warmth that joy that comes from living in the Lord's favor living within his will knowing that the Holy Spirit is there to guide you and to carry you through the worst of times and the best of times so you know maybe it's a bit early to start talking about this but when we talk about what it means to belong to the Lord we are talking about coming to that realization that we need the Lord in our lives we need God in our lives and that without him we're lost we're not just lost in terms of our purpose in life but we're lost for eternity right there is a real heaven there is a real hell and you do make a real choice by choosing to ask the Lord into your heart, asking him to forgive you of your sins and to become the Lord of your life. And when you choose not to do so, you are making a choice as well. So, you know, it is just such a joy to be able to share that with you. First of all, it's, uh, you know, one of the things that's very dear to my heart is sharing the gospel. Exalted be the God of my salvation. Is there some way today, awesome God, that you can exalt your name through me, a way I might highlight the blessing of your salvation to those around me. I don't want to preach or push or pry in my desire for people to know how wonderful it is to belong to you. I just want to point to you in some encouraging and helpful way. Exalt yourself through me, I pray, in ways that you see fit, in ways that you know will be a benefit to those you've placed in my life and to those whom you send across my path. And I can't imagine anything more beautiful than being able to be a benefit to the people that are placed in your path, to be a source of joy, a source of life and light and hope to those around you. You're a beacon. Once you've got that, that presence of Christ in your heart, you become a light in the dark. The Bible describes it as being salt and light to the world you know you bring flavor you bring light everywhere that you go people can see that there's something different about you they can see christ within you so we have indeed as people who identify as christians we have this wonderful responsibility to be the lord's ambassadors here on earth so you're probably saying, okay, well, how does that tie into our peacock theme? Well, I think, and I'm going to be stretching here, I admit, I think that a peacock brings light and joy to those who see it as well. 
just as we do to those who get to experience Christ's love through us. So the next time you see a peacock, maybe you can remember that just as its beauty brings joy to you, maybe your inner beauty can bring joy to those around you, right? Okay, so it says, when humanity is exalted for some accomplishment, it's not long before it topples from its pedestal. When God's name is exalted, however, there is no fear of disillusionment or disappointment. So thank you so much for listening to our devotional for today. And uh, what we're going to do now, as I said, is we are going to begin, and I'm going to take off my glasses here. I hope I can still see <laughs> after that. Uh, I'm using these bifocals. I don't use them very often except for reading. So there's always this little period of adjustment when I try to see again. So yeah, here we go. So what we did last time is we put in our background, and I hope it's not too dark, put in our background, and um, we also did the main body work on our peacock, we put in this very gorgeous blue. We're going to be covering most of that today with our turquoise, and coming back around our edges with some cobalt blue, and just figuring out where our light source is going to be hitting, and I think it's going to be this angle here, and we're going to highlight our peacock on this end. Not sure how much we're going to get done today. Uh, if needs be, we will come back with a third edition of Art and the Word so that we can just put in all the final details. But today is sort of like middle ground for where we're going to be. And uh, for this work, we are going to be using mainly our medium-sized brushes. And uh, we will be working with our turquoise blue today. And... Um, Probably we'll start putting in some of the brushwork around these eyes, you know, the peacock's eyes, so to speak. So you'll notice that um, in this one here, and I think this one I got this from Ranjita Anup painting on uh, YouTube. And she does sort of these sort of feathery lines that flow through the peacock's tail. So we're going to attempt to do that one as well. We need to do that one as well. So I'm going to jump into my turquoise here, which is by Liquitex. I find this brand is pretty good. If you just got, you know, some cheap paints from your Dollarama, you can mix colors to get the shades that you want. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So um, this paint, I'm actually not going to use much water with this. Uh, because it, it's quite, I do want this on quite thick. Hope you can hear our beautiful music in the background there. So as you can see, we've already succeeded in covering over that very uh, first layer of blue that we had there. And we've covered over any sort of white from the canvas that might have bled through that first layer. So we are good to go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little time, um, as I mentioned, just um, working some feather work. But actually, I think I'm going to save that for last. And I'm going to work on some of these feathers that are in the back hair. I've seen them as different colors on some peacocks. I suppose maybe there's different species 
or um, or breeds of peacocks. So they they aren't all the same colors. I've noticed. So if we have any um, you know animal experts out there who can correct me, feel free. But um, just the pictures I've observed, they are yeah they definitely do not all have the same sort of coloration. There are variations um, from bird to bird. So some, for example, have um, on one side, they might have some feathers that are black and white. Others have sort of this iridescent gold and green, uh, which is kind of what I was going for here. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working a little bit. I, I've changed my mind again. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working with some of the feather work so that um, you can sort of see where the flow of the feathers is going to be. I'm going to switch out brushes here because I do want a finer stroke than um, what my medium sized brush is giving me. Let's see. That's not bad. Because what I'm really looking for are just sort of these fine feather strokes. I will go back in with an even smaller brush to put in some other shades of green. But for now, all we're doing is just sort of filling in some of these feathers. Now, um, I think I've mentioned in the uh, last class that we're not going with the very typical color scheme that a peacock would have in actual life. Um, you've noticed that some peacocks have more brown feathers and then the eyes really stand out more. So um, I'm opted to go with sort of a more stylized approach, more abstract. I really do hope that you are enjoying art and the word. This is, I believe, our second, no, it's our third season. Wow. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who've been watching since we began, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support and I hope that you find this a little oasis of calm in your day. That you enjoy watching me struggle <laughs> to create something lovely, something that brings joy to you. I really hope that you're enjoying that and that you feel inspired to try it yourself. 
As you can tell, I'm not a professional artist by any means, but um, I do enjoy art, looking at art, creating it, and sharing it with other people, sharing the process with other people. And uh, my goal with this is to inspire you to give it a try. You know, pick up, pick up a paintbrush. You can even get one of those um, color by number sets. Michaels has some beautiful ones. I'm even thinking of trying that uh, for one of our shows. So they actually put all the paints that you will need in one package for you. And um, they will... They create, a, what should I call it, a color scheme, a paint by number scheme, so that you don't even have to like um, work out shades or tones or anything like that. You can just follow the instructions and um, you could have something pretty nice, pretty decent looking that you can be proud of to hang on your wall. And I decided I'm going to add some eyes in some areas here. I just feel they're a bit... Um, too empty and too bland. So now we're almost creating these sort of uh, these flame-like effects when you think about it. Take that all the way up to the top. So we've had such a, a, a tumultuous beginning to 2021. Uh, for us here in Toronto, we began with the continuation of a lockdown or stay at home orders rather, I guess you could call it because um, they're being pretty flexible, you know, about allowing us some movement, but they do ask us to exercise caution, you know, don't go out more than you need to, just be, you know, do what's essential. And of course, now um, the U.S. has um, a new president, so he's got quite the task ahead of him. So all of our leaders need our prayers, you know, that they would look to the Lord for their guidance, for their wisdom, that they would carry out his will. So we should pray for our leaders, as the word says we should, regardless of who they are. Pray that their hearts would be turned towards him.
I really hope that you enjoyed our devotional today. I think the idea of bringing joy to others is so beautiful. Being, as I said, salt and light to this hurting world, you know, to bring peace, to be a peacemaker.
Well, that's all the time that we have for Art and the Word today. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing the process as we move our peacock from stage one to mid-stage. And uh, we still have a bit of work to do, but hopefully in, uh, in episode three, we will be able to wrap everything up for this particular painting and we'll move on to a landscape, um, which will I think we'll probably be doing a winter type of landscape since we're in winter. Hmm, why not? So thank you so much for joining me on Art and the Word. My name is Nicole Georges-Bennett. It has been such a pleasure to have you with me. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.